Hi there, this is Shoe Rainer on the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and today I'm going to try and, try and show you how to draw Jack Sparrow which kind of looks like him a bit but I, I don't have much time to get this right so um, let's not talk about it, let's do it! Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow right well let's see what we can do there's the, the uh, top and bottom right um, no, you might have seen I've done this on my other drawing channel. I kind of did it as a bit of a joke. Um, and I did it very, very fast and very silly, so I thought I'd try and do it a bit better, a little bit better. Now, he has this kind of bandana under his hat. So uh, you kind of got this kind of shape. There, and then his hair's going to kind of come out kind of like that. Now, you want to get come out slightly like that and then in slightly like that. Johnny Depp has this beautiful cheek <laughs> cheek structure, bone structure, which is probably what why all the girls love him. And so it's kind of out and in, but quite angular. Right, what you want to do here is his kind of eyebrows are kind of like that. And then you want kind of two lines down there, which would be his nose. Uh, his nose kind of coming there. And it's a bit wide actually, but anyway, kind of like that. Um, and then his eyes are quite difficult and I think it's probably part of the secret of him because he has all that kind of mascara and stuff on as well doesn't he when he's Captain Jack Captain Jack? No that's Doctor Who uh, what's his name? <laughs> Jack Sparrow, he is Captain Jack yeah okay. oh, I don't know um, Right, so we're going to want something like that. Then he's got this moustache that kind of comes down there and slightly droops. Now, what you want to get is this kind of curve for his mouth, and then he's got quite accentuated lips, I think, which is probably another thing that girls like about him. Um, and then we've got this little bit of beardiness there. And those two bits there are going to have his kind of neck coming in down there. We're running out of space anyway. Um, and his kind of collar will come around like that. And then we've got, got bits hanging out. Okay, I'm going to start penciling in now. So that's pretty good for three minutes. Right. Um, go around the outside. And I think part of the secret with these tricorn hats is, is I could never, ever draw them. Is to kind of understand that they're basically, they are kind of round hats. Um, which have kind of been folded up into that shape. And if you can kind of understand that the way they've been kind of folded in then it kind of makes it easier to work out how to draw them then we've got these kind of bits that come down here and uh, let's put the rest of this bandana in kind of like that and then we got these what are they I don't know they're kind of beaded dreadlocky kind of things aren't they and he's got these kind of the bits that he has sticking around. Now what we need to do is we can put those two lines in there and then put his eyebrows in kind of coming in round there a bit like that. Uh, maybe you want a bit of a line above and then you just want that kind of I don't know how to explain it curved that way on the on the uh, 
lower lid okay and then don't quite draw the whole pupil in there leave a little space for some light to come in uh, and we'll have this. Mm, that's not the best nose in the world but anyway let's see how that goes and then he's got this rather wispy kind of moustache for a pirate uh, and I'm, I'm planning to do a bit of watercolour in this so I'm going to bring this kind of down like that and just a sort of hint of hair right and then I want this kind of hair tumbling down I want to get the neck in there and it's kind of manly Adam's apple and that would be quite dark down there around the back there and okay so now I'm quite pleased with that so what I'm going to do is um, um, <laughs> it's like, it's my eyes not plugged in. Hang on, hang on, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'm Hair dry, I'm just going to really make sure that that ink is dry. Usually I am quite sure, but I've drawn it on a bit thick this time, so. Um, oh, I just had this horrible feeling that I wasn't recording, but luckily I am. Okay. <laughs> now, I thought I was prepared, but of course I'm not, because I can't find my paints, but now I've found them. Good. And... Uh, this is where I start panicking. You see, I always think I'm prepared and I'm not really. Uh, you know, if this was a proper TV show, then I suppose I'd have all sorts of lackeys making sure that everything was alright. But... Ah! And now my kind of colour that I use for um, kind of flesh tones, it's gone all green from, I think it was my Lily <laughs> of the Valley painting I was doing recently. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow into it. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of... Because he's quite swarthy and I'm going to leave kind of light around there and kind of light. Leave some spare, some shininess in there like that. And probably a little bit, leave a little bit down there like that and then I've got some because um, he's quite sun tanned and I'm going to use this is so what I've used is Naples yellow and this is kind of um, burnt sienna that I'm using now just to kind of give him that kind of sunburned been at sea for weeks look swarthy swarthy and a little bit down there too. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of burnt sienna around. What on earth is that colour there? Oh, that's a kind of uh, sepia, I think. So I'm going to paint this in and kind of. What are we doing? 8 minutes 29. Oh my goodness. We're, uh, mm. I do like to try and get these done in 10 minutes if I can, but you know, once I start painting, it takes a bit longer. You've got the top of his hat in there. You kind of want some kind of shade in there and there and down at the bottom as well like that his hair I'm going to give him um, just kind of I don't know what colour would you call that it's kind of a dirty mess really um, and kind of like that and I'll add a bit of I'll add a bit of green into that brown for his, because all his clothes are quite, um, I don't know if you can see that much there, can you? Yeah, his clothes are all kind of dark really. Uh, a, bit of, uh, a bit of brown in there I think as well. Uh, put a little bit of darker in there. And I'm just kind of building this first layer of colour up so then I can just in a moment 
I'm going to dry it. And how are we doing now? Nine minutes. <laughs> this is going to be a longer one, I'm afraid. Um, as I always say, watercolour is kind of about. Watercolour is drawing, okay? So you're drawing with <laughs> light and shade. The light is coming through the paper. I keep saying this. <laughs> but, uh, so it's kind of um, adding adding more drawing on. It's like kind of you know if you're with a doing it with a pencil, you'd be kind of add, drawing on top of what you've already drawn to kind of add that extra bit of shading in there. Um, I think I can put a little bit of red in there now on that. I don't see why not because he has this kind of red bandana, doesn't he? Which Suddenly brings it to life a bit, and we can put some red into those as well. And we have a little bit more kind of brown in there, kind of. And I'm going to build this up as a kind of shadow, kind of like that. We want some in there too. We're going to want some shadow quite dark down under there. Um, and I want some quite dark shadow in there like that. So it's just building up, building up, building up, and um, and I know I haven't got time to do as much as I'd really like to. Um, but I hope this is giving you kind of some idea of how to put it together. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of his kind of beard there. Like that. And oh, I think I better do a bit of drawing again. Army <laughs> parties. <laughs> this is bring this to be done. Bring this to be done. Like I haven't put in there. Now I can't find a pen. Where's my pen? Which one is that? It doesn't matter. Um, so we have these little bits that are kind of going like that, and they're kind of kind of like that aren't they there we go how are we doing 12 minutes now i've lost my brush ah! <laughs> i can't believe it i cannot find my brush there we are i found it good okay this is working under extreme stressfully conditions here i think and um oh, i just want to do a little bit of the line up there as well and it's a much darker in there like that. Uh, darker in there, darker in there. We'll have his beard a bit darker like that. We'll have his moustache a bit darker. A bit darker up around his eyebrows as well, I think. And just a little bit darker around by his nose. That's probably overdone it now, I think. That's probably just too much. Uh, now what we do need is to get a little bit of kind of interest is mascara kind of around his eyes um, and then just a little bit of something just to turn down the eyeballs because you don't want them that white and then he really has very dark eyes so I'm going to shade those in like that and try and just drop in something a bit that's not pointy enough try and drop in a little bit darker on the top Kind of like that. There we are. Good. Uh, I'm going to want a little bit of hint of pink in that kind of top lip there, and maybe a little bit kind of mm, down there. Now I think we can have some more interesting colours in there. I'm just splashing them in there. Any, any there ought to be all sorts of different colours. Um, and where are we now? I think. This Mm. Well, I think this is, I think considering the time that I have to do it, that's not too bad. Uh, but it kind of gives you an idea what to do if you want to paint Jack Sparrow. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some crayons in there. And, and because sometimes I do that because it's kind of quicker. So if I do a bit of 
crayon in there. That just kind of speeds that up. Uh, I might just put a bit of kind of, bit of, kind of modelling in there. A bit of something under there. That's, oh, that's completely ruined it, hasn't it? There we are. But luckily they are watercolour crayons, and I can <laughs> dab most of that colour off again. So I'll just move that in there. Like, like that. And, and I think we just need to go kind of around and try and get a bit more of that kind of mascara look in there. How oh, we did 15 minutes! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right, that's, I think that's, I am going to call that in. Um, <laughs> there we go, good. Uh, how's that looking? There we go. Well, I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> time given <laughs> so if you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on uh, youtube and in the meantime have a go at doing this go and watch the movie and uh have a good time and i can probably put some i can crayon in some yellow bits and there which just makes it more interesting and uh take care keep drawing and uh, i'll see you next time okay take care bye <laughs>